there's um, a very beautiful one which is about two feet above the the top of the head <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it's sometimes referred to as the soul star uh, or the eighth chakra and um, yeah you can get uh, liquid light dripping from the eighth chakra into the seventh chakra that's a, a very beautiful experience it's just uh, ecstatic <clears throat> but we don't often talk about these chakras and the the reason for that is that in yoga the, ch- the chakras that we talk about mostly are the ones that are kind of involved they're, they're the ones that are most involved in the process of awakening okay? so there's actually a lot of chakras a lot of minor chakras all over the body and um, other chakras sometimes there are other chakras that people call major chakras so there are some systems that have 13 chakras some have 9 it's not that some people have got more chakras it's that the way that you count whether you say something's a major chakra or a minor chakra <clears throat> so, so when we're teaching yoga to try and simplify things we just focus on the ones that are most commonly experienced or most related to particular practices and um, <clears throat> so the the eighth chakra although it's incredibly beautiful and and uh, quite an amazing chakra it's, it, there aren't any practices that we need to do there it's not really involved in the in the awakening process <clears throat> some would say that there's actually a, an aspect of our being which remains there and doesn't actually take incarnation in the body and so there's only part of us that actually incarnates and part of us that remains always situated above so uh, yeah, there's all sorts of incredible things going on yeah.